Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. And you? <laughs> I'm doing great too. Okay. Happy to be here with you again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> how, good how evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Busy. <laughs> busy. A little bit busy. <laughs> what did you do? Um, first, I I did exercise, and then I clean all the house, and then I I worked in my classes for the university, and then I did the dinner, and right now <laughs> the course. You you made you prepared. Yeah, I you prepared, prepared the dinner. Time, the dinner, yeah. Remember the no, no. I prepare dinner. I prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, Violeta. Good evening. Good evening. Right now, I'm 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 a little bit busy because I'm in the car with my family because we have to go to the supermarket and we get late in the traffic. Okay. On the traffic, so, you got on traffic. Oh, yes. Okay. So okay. I'm going to, I'm going home right now, but we we are in traffic right now. So it's okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being with us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. I'm okay. with my cell phone. Also, I'm going to put my microphone off. Okay. Sure. Not a problem. That's okay, just pay attention. Okay, good. Okay. Oh my god, Madeline. Madeline wow. You are beautiful. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? Where are we? Great. Where are we going? Uh -huh. Where are you going? Where no. are we going? <laughs> yes. No, only here in my house. <laughs> okay. Okay, so who is visiting? Uh, yes. <laughs> Who no, is you? alone here in my house. Only ah. I, I comb my hair only. <laughs> ah. I just yeah. comb you my have hair. Makeup. Just comb my hair. And put some makeup. Yes. yes. Okay. Right. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> You'll be kind with me. <laughs> hey, Max. What's up? Good evening. How are you? I'm good. I'm good? Yeah. Good to hear. Good to hear. Wendy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. Yesterday I had a problem with my microphone. Excellent. Okay, we can hear you but loud and clear. It's working right now. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you loud and clear now. Great. Okay. Adriana, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you? Great, right, too. Excellent, very good. How was your day? Uh, a little bit busy. I was checking my kids' homework. <laughs> ah, tell me about it. Yes, I'm a teacher. Oh, so. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a K-5 teacher. teacher. We have three teachers here now, yes. four, four with Wendy, me. Wendy is my classmate too. Yes, uh, sorry, my co-worker and Violeta. Too. Oh. Violeta Are and you Wendy. kidding me? Yes, Wait, we work we together. One, two, three, four, five, five teachers. Five five teachers. teachers. Wow. Five teachers. We work together, Violeta and Wendy. Oh, what really? is the subject? What is the subject? Yeah, what's your assignment? Um, I'm, I'm teach K-5 uh, your soul kids. All the classes. And I teach all the classes. Phonics, all English. Oh. Mass, lecto escritura, apprestamiento. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we, yeah. But right now you're doing everything. Right? Kindergarten. Oh, wow. oh, okay. Kindergarten. Sorry. I can't hear. Español, lectura. Okay. Yeah. You're doing everything okay. online right now. Yeah. Yeah. So Lecturing, we were checking Spanish. all. Yeah. 
Let's go. Escritura en inglés, teacher. What is the name? What is writing? I have no idea. It's le lecturing it's writing and writing. In Spanish. Wait, lecturing. Yeah, writing. Lecturing. I think. Cor correct me if I'm wrong. Lecturing is when you do a speech. You know, is that right? I have heard lecturing. Writing is... and, and, and reading. Reading, reading mm -hmm. right? Reading and, yeah. yeah. Reading and, and, and writing. But in Spanish. In, in Spanish, yeah. of course. Yes. That's in awesome. kindergarten. And Wendy too? Ah, I teach in kindergarten, yes. kindergarten too. K5. Yes. Yeah. K5. I am K5A and Wendy is K5B. Yes. What is the difference? What is the difference? The There's teacher. no difference. <laughs> the teacher. Okay. Teach four, five, and six years old. Oh. Yeah. And, little, and 18 years old too. Little, dem, little demons, big demons, big, big demons. Yes, accountant, <laughs> accountant. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> you have to be patient. Yeah, Very patient. Alicia yes. University, teach and at university. Love. Okay. Alicia. Alicia is a, is a teacher. university Great teacher. teacher. Thank That's you. awesome. No, I, I teach in, in sixth grade and seventh and eighth grade too. Nice. Excellent. Science. Congratulations, Science. guys. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay, you. let's get into the topic now. Uh, if you remember what we were talking about yesterday, what were we doing? Exercise about relative pronouns. As objects, yes, right? Now. I was here. Mm -hmm. Relative it's pronouns as objects. As First objects. we saw as subjects and then as objects. Now we're going to talk about adjectives. Okay. Adjectives. Mm -hmm. Adjectives. What is it to talk about? Um, what is it like to talk about um, adjectives, you know, using what we learned um, with relative pronouns? So we're going to watch a video. I'm about to play it to you, but I'm, I would like to send the um the images because we always have problems watching the video right so mm. the image is too blurry the image is blurry so i'm, I'm gonna send the um the image right now to you give me one second this is this pre-advanced one okay there's mm. one of the images on your chat on your whatsapp group Okay, then we're going to watch the second part of it. Give me one second. Is it raining around you? Yes. 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 Really heavy yes. rain? Heavy rain? Uh, no, it's no. slowly. A little. A little. Okay. There is a way to say no, that. Here it isn't raining. It isn't it's raining. It's raining here, no. It isn't raining here. Okay. Now yeah. this is a this is a, a little bit long video. Off. But let's watch it. It's very important for us to practice today uh the adjectives. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. I, I already send you both images to the group. Yes. If you want to okay, open I'm them. To see. Some of these adjectives you may already know them. You may already know these adjectives and some others so after this we're going to play with more adjectives because many of you already have a lot of vocabulary so it would be interesting um, for us to talk among each other on each group and tell for example ask one of your classmates hey alicia what do you like um i like sunshines and rainbows i like <laughs> motivational speeches <laughs> from ted talks i like to be positive you know i am so then we can go and say uh, for following the examples that we will see after the definition of each um each one of these adjectives and listening to the audio so let's listen to the audios and then we're going to use as a model the audios that we're going to hear, okay? So let's pay okay. attention. Let's pay attention and then we, we discuss how we are going to do the dynamic, okay? 
Okay. I'm going to mute you guys so we can all listen. Okay, let's pay attention. By the end of this class, you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. And you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easygoing. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of himself or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Okay, so now that you have seen um, the definition in English of each one of these adjectives. Number one, when do we use these adjectives? That's a simple question. When when we describe a, a person. How? Physically? No. The, no, the attitude. The attitude or the attitude, behavior. Their behavior, behavior. Their personality. When you're describing me. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, that's right. Now, new vocabulary. Did you identify yeah. any new words that you were like, what? What yeah. is that? Uh, stubborn, stubborn. Good, stubborn. That's your teacher. Uh, that's your what? teacher. Stubborn. Stubborn. Um, yes, inflexible, stubborn. Ah. It has to do, in my uh -huh. case, with being determined. Determined. Yeah, determined. Determined. You put it that way, maybe, because you don't look like a stubborn person. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just mm -hmm. when I when I decide to do something, that's the point, Max. I decide mm -hmm. to do something. Mm -hmm. I decide upon something. I don't stop until I finish mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and I I have to make it. Even if I am wrong, I will do it because I want to prove myself uh, true or wrong, right or wrong. I have to prove myself if I'm right or wrong on a decision. So did I say, um, that's basically being uh, stubborn. Stubborn. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Determine. 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 Yeah, be careful. It's not determined or determined. No, mm -hmm. determined. Determined. Okay. That's being uh, unflexible, stubborn. In okay. Spanish, terco. Stubborn. Oh, okay, okay. Stubborn is just <laughs> basically that's the translation into Spanish. That's the okay. uh, yeah, interpretation. Any other? Brag. Good. Brag. Doesn't brag. To brag. Modest. A, a modest. And it's missing the T, right? Ah, a modest okay. person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishment. He's modest. It has to do with being humble. Ah, you know what yeah. is? Yeah, a little yes. bit humble. Yes, humilde. I can hear you well. Really, Madeline? Humilde? Can you can you hear me, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, humble is humilde, right? But mm -hmm. um brag is the opposite to brag is the opposite do you remember ah. do you remember the hair and the turtle the hair the hair and the tortoise yes. ah yeah 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 uh -huh. 
correct me in this word, tortoise. I can't remember the spelling of tortoise. On turtle. You're missing an E, I believe. A tortoise. Yeah, I jump. just Google it and, and write it there on the chat. I, I can't remember. But you have you got it, right? Because we tend to say the bunny and the and the turtle. And the turtle. turtle. Yeah, but it is actually the hare mm -hmm. and the tortoise. There you go, tortoise. That's right. Are you talking well right now? Yeah, I'm talking. I'm speaking well. <laughs> tortoise is it's another word for turtle? No. They're different. They're different. What let is me, the difference? Let me give you a story that I love to tell when someone asks me what is the difference between total and tortoise. My mm -hmm. cousin mm -hmm. post a picture of her son throwing a tortoise to the water, to a lake oh. in, in Canada. They were throwing the total and they were posting, we set it free. We set it free, right? Mm -hmm. It's free. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait. And I looked at the, the, the feet, let's say, of the tortoise. And I mm -hmm. told her, you just kill her. It's a tortoise. It's not oh. a total. Totals have fins. Totals have fins. Aletas. Oh, okay. Ah, it's an aquatic. Yeah, it, it's from aquatic. water, mm -hmm. and they just threw they just yes. threw the uh, the tortoise to the water. Tortoise is a tortuga terrestre. Yeah, they cannot swim that much. Yes. And they were deep in the they mm -hmm. were deep in the lake. I mean, so a tortoise will <laughs> definitely die. And tortoise lo, it seems a French word. It sounds like a French yeah. word. True. Yeah. It is true. Mm -hmm. Like fiancé or faucet. Yeah. Fiance. Okay. Do you know that? And uh, faucet. What is a faucet? Faucet. I don't know. You use it every day. Uh, I don't remember how to say that in English. <laughs> I know the, the word in, in, in French. There's another word for faucet, I think. Um, Where do you get this from? Ah, del chorro. <laughs> yes, I didn't want to say chorro. That's right. Ah. El grifo, okay, el chorro. Grifo. Yeah. Faucet. It's the same Faucet. thing. Okay. okay, good. Let's go with the next one. I'm a person who brag about accomplishments. Mm. Accomplishments. You got it? Accomplishments. Accomplishment. Como compromisos. Uh -uh. Achievements. No. Achievements. Logros. Achievement, excellent, Logros. yes. Logros. Uh, modeling, you can try logging out and logging back in because we're, we're good. We're good with the connection, I think. So try to go out and come back in, modeling. Okay. And it Teacher, sorry, brag is is in Spanish like orgulloso. Uh, um, brag okay. is presumir. Presumir, okay. Picársela. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, in Thank good you. Salvadorian. Okay, uh, accomplishments. Moods, moods, moods. Okay, moods is um, temperament, temperamentos. Ah, okay. Your moods. No. Uh, no, no, no. For example, what's your mood today? Ah, ¿Cuál es? Humor. Humor. Okay. El estado de ánimo okay. en el que me encuentro. El estado yeah. de ánimo. Okay. Mood. Thank you, teacher. For example, a moody person, it's a temperamental person. Temperamental, moody. Mm -hmm. A moody person is someone who in Salvadorian you call mecha corta. <laughs> a moody. You're so moody. I mean... I don't know if you're happy and then you're upset and then, wow, okay. right? Suddenly they change drastically. Okay, any other? Come on, guys. Did you get all of the words? Supportive person is someone who is helpful in encouraging. Encouraging is... Uh... Encouraging. Come on. Motivando. Someone who cheers you like up. Like enthusiastic. 
enthusiastic is personal. I'm always positive. I'm always positive. But someone who is encouraging all the time is someone who cheer you here cheers you up. Okay. And cheering comes from cheerleader, remember? Yeah. So you got the idea, right? Mm -hmm. Cheerleader. Um they they pushed you, they pushed you to be positive all the time. Mm, yeah. Okay. You're like, come on, Alicia, you can do it, Alicia. Great <laughs> job. Good job, Alicia. Great. That's the way. Encouraging. Okay. 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 Any other? Mm. Unpredictable. I think that's clear. Mm -hmm. Irregular moods. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't doesn't do what he or she promised. What he promises, I will have said. Es como incumplida. Yeah, she, they don't comply. They don't do mm -hmm. what they said they were going to do. If okay. I told you I was going to give you a thousand dollars, they didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay. Now let's continue watching the video and see how this... Like bipolar. Um, no, that's something else. That will be like temperamental or moody. Bipolar will be like yeah, moody, moody, moody. Okay, a moody person. They change drastically. Unreliable um, is just someone who you cannot trust. Is a liar. Okay, it's a liar. It's a liar. Yeah. Simple as that. Okay. Okay. Let's continue with the video. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio program at this time. So have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? College. She talks about her once in a while. How do you program at this time? So, have you... Okay, I just paused the video because it was going really fast. Let's do something else. Um, should be 50x, I think 75 will be faster. Have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. Now I want you to pay attention to some new vocabulary on this audio. Even for Max and me, for Alicia, and this, and I heard someone else, Violet, I think, Daniela, well, everybody's got very good vocabulary in this class, I have to say, but let's pay attention and, and find out new idioms or phrasal verbs that they use in this audio. So pay attention, okay? And write it down if you can. Let me open the, um, I want to annotate this here. Okay, just in case I need it, I will play it here. Well, afterwards, let's go. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? 
She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast! Yeah, he's a great cook too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, "It's nothing, no big deal." Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager, Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have. Personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay. Good. Let's go back to the chart. In this case, okay. Just gonna close the pencil and go back. On my to nerves the lately. There we go. Okay. Good. So, wow. Let's answer the questions first. What statement best describes Andrea? Egotistical and stingy. No, I don't like that word. It's the first time I hear egotistical. 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 What is there another word for that? What do you think? Self-esteem. Self-esteem. That's autoestima. Um egocentric. I self -esteem. Egocentric. Okay. Yeah. What about selfish? Oh, yeah, could be. That's the com more common word, right? Yeah, and yes, yes. So what do you think, guys? Andrea is, is egotistical and stingy, selfish, yeah, high steam, high steam. Is, is that what it is? Now, yeah, looking at. Look, uh huh? Jarvin? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, she is. yeah. I agree with you guys. Okay, great job. What about James? What's the best statement for James? Hola, 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 Sociable okay. and easy going. Sociable and easy going. Why? Why is he uh, sociable and um, easy going? Because social because is someone who enjoys being with other people and is he going because if someone doesn't worry 
or someone, get angry. You forgot something. Very good, Adriana. You forgot something. Uh -huh. Is someone who? Someone who, sorry. Uh -huh. Excellent. Don't forget that. Great job. Yes. I will say so too. Um, and lastly, um, Mr. Johnson. Is temperamental and unreliable. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I know. Unreliable. 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 Yes. All right. Repeat. Unreliable. You got unreliable. It. Unreliable. He's unreliable. Okay. Unreliable. He's he promised something and he doesn't accomplish mm -hmm. uh, what he said. Okay. Getting on my nerves. What, how, yeah, can yeah. somebody give me an example with that sentence? For example, with the students when they <laughs> yes. are noisy. And when they when they don't stop being yes. noisy, right, in the classroom. Yes. They're, they they get into your nerves. They yes. get on your nerves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting on my nerves. I just picture myself using that sentence. Okay. You're getting on my nerves. Unreliable. Unreliable. Reliable. Unreliable. Uh, what is the meaning? Unreliable. Untrustful. I cannot trust that person. Is a liar. A liar. Mm -hmm. A liar. Unreliable. Okay. She's changed a lot since. I just wanted you to notice that's present perfect, right? She's Change. changed a lot since. We were in high school. She's changed a lot since last class. Okay, be, just be careful with that. That's present perfect. She's changed a lot since. Okay, she always manages to talk about herself all the time. How do you understand this sentence? She always manages to. She always manages to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is the other word? To what? Uh, because she said she always manages to talk about herself all the time, you know, bragging and talking about she's herself. Always, she's always trying to. She's always to trying. She's, she's always looking for the opportunity to do that. Perfect. She always finds a way. She always finds a way to talk about herself, you know. And, ah, excellent. Very good. Come again. Letters. You cannot see the whole letters. Oh, I think I, I don't have a way to make it bigger. But I will send you this. Yes, please, I will please, send you. Yes, I cannot see well. OK, don't worry. I'll send it to you in a minute. OK, listen. OK, right now it's well. OK, very good. OK, roommates. Roommates. You may find you may find that word in British as flatmates. Have you heard the word flatmates? No. No, no I don't know. I know roommates. <clears throat> so in the British, the British for roommates, the British for roommates is flatmates because flat means um, apartment, apartment or the whole floor, you know, the flat. So you can live in a flat in London mm. or not an apartment is a flat. Flat. A flat is an, an apartment in London. So flatmate, roommate. Okay. Where he manages to find them all. I don't know where he manages to find them all. All these people that he invites to the parties. They were talking about James. I don't know where he manages to find them all. So again, how do you understand the word manage in this context? Managers. Managers is yeah, yeah, but it's in this context. A personal, a person's. How do you, how he or she? Organize the. Yes. Uh, how he administers. Office. How he administers, I guess. How he Minister. organizes his time to find all these people. Do you have a question regarding that word? Is that a new word for you? I have many, many questions, but. 
I mean, I could I could ask uh, Madeline. I could ask Madeline, for example, Madeline. How do you manage to be so pretty? Oh. <laughs> and Madeline, Madeline could tell me. Oh, it ta it takes me one hour every day <laughs> to put makeup. You know, do my hair and everything. You see, she manages yes. to yes. look good. Okay. Next. Okay. Next, a common phrase. What a fist. Fist. What a fist. What is that? Fist. What a fist. I don't remember. I William. Anybody? I heard, I heard this word, but I don't remember. A big, a big party. What a, a fist. Party. A big? A says Violeta in, uh, in the chat. Fist. But then they were talking about food in that. They case. were talking about food, a big party. No, Festin. it's all about... food. It's not party. Festin, Alicia. Festin. Yeah. Ah, party with what food. a fist. A lot and, of food. And, and dancing all. No, no it's, it's just only it's only for food, food. teacher. A big, food. a big amount of food. A big. Like in a restaurant. Excellent. What a fist. No big deal. Okay. No big deal. Don't worry. It's okay. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Teacher, sorry. Roommates, it's like an apartment. You're, or for example, you have classmates here. Ah, you yeah, have yeah. a room. Ah, mate. it's compañero de cuarto. Excellent. Compañero de cuarto. Okay. Yeah. Thank Very you. Good. Yes. No big met. deal. No big deal. Don't worry. Okay, I met him and I want you to hear okay. the pronunciation, the pronunciation of that sentence. I met him, I met him, I met, met him, met him. Met him. Oh. I met him at the dance hall last year. I met him. 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 It's met him. I met him. I met him. Yeah, I met him at oh. Metro Centro. I met him on my English class. But it's not him. for him. Him. It's not for him. him. Only for him is Madeline. Okay, listen, Madeline, you don't say him. You say him. 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 Don't say him. him. Don't him. say him. Him anymore. Him. You say him. My him. question is, I met him. Is the same Madeline? I met him. Exactly. It's the pronunciation. It's the pronunciation. It's other, it's other pronunciation. Pronunciation. In American, you will find ways to reduce or shorten your speaking. I will send you a video that I found yesterday with a lot of phrases that where Americans do this. They do that. Remember what I told you about I am going to church and you can say I'm going to go to church. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to go to the theater and then I'm going to go to the cinema and then we're going to go to the beach again. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to. Never oh. I will understand English. <laughs> ah, come on, you're doing it. That, okay. That first person that I speak a, a different when I I study and the, the person I speak different, I cannot understand any. Oh, any. come on, you can do it. You can do it. Just listen well. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Um, yeah, no, no. I am not in the group. You're not in the group. I'll send you. Yeah. Okay, I'll put again my cell phone here and just text me. I don't know in the group too, teacher. Okay, guys, my cell phone is on the on the chat on Zoom right now. Okay. Okay. Text me after the class. Or right now it's up to you, but text me and I will send you the invite link so you can join the group. Okay. Uh, I met him. I met him. Hard to predict. She's a hard to predict woman. Mm -hmm. She's a hard to predict. Okay, do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Half the time, half the time you're talking about your ex girlfriend. Come on. Half the time you're talking half about your ex girlfriend. Let me give you another one. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it? 
What is the meaning? Get over what it. What is the meaning? Overcome a situation. Move on. Move on. Excellent. I love that. Move on. Okay. Go forward. Keep moving. Stop. Ah, super. Thank you, Violeta. That's right. Thank you, Violeta. Get over it. Okay. Okay, guys. So, how do we do this? I'm going to send that image to you. So let me split you in groups. And now you just have to ask to your classmates one simple question. Define yourself. Tell, <laughs> tell, tell me about yourself. Okay, I'm going to put it in the chat instead. Um, tell me about yourself. Um, in other words, how do you describe your personality personality yes you can talk about what things you like okay um and then when we come back i will ask you to describe someone following this pattern for example madeline is someone who is sociable and is it going? She is um, happy. She is a happy person. Um, I like her. Yes, I am. You see? <laughs> She's very transparent. She's very transparent, yes. I will say. So that, that's the way. I want you to talk to your classmates. How do you define yourself? Okay? And then we will come back to the class and you will be chosen to tell me about one of your classmates, okay? Got it? Yes. Yes, we, teacher. We are I'm 11. Try, I'm try to do it because um, I was out in the class. Everything, yes. everything is in the what? chat. Okay, let's do it. Everything is in the chat. You will be divided in groups of two or three right now, so let's try it. Help me, classmates. Help me, classmates. Yeah, yes. they will help you, don't worry. Okay, let's Okay, start. Madeline. Okay, Max, Jarvin, okay, let's go. Tell me about yourself, Elvis. What? Tell me about yourself. Ah, okay. Oh, you describe my personality. A power car, no? I describe uh, um, people very quiet. Eh, tranquilo, sorry. Eh, very quiet, quiet. Eh, um, person eh, with patient, um, person Hard work. Um, I Wait. think that. Lame. Um, I am um, the uh, person. Who who like who like uh, work? Um, I very very a little funny. Only that. And you? Uh, Who's next? I'm next. Hello. 
but I am a, I consider I am a social person, but um, the patience uh, is difficult for me. <laughs> Be a patient. I don't know. I am funny person too. And I am, uh, I am, I like be a social funny, but I have my, I, how do you say, it? my temporal, high temp, high temporal. <laughs> high temporal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I I have a moody person. I am a moody person. I'm sorry. Depends. It depends the situations and the as the people when I um, when I when I talk. Okay. Great job. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's talk about this for a minute. Um, Elvis, repeat, patient. Patient, patient. 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 Mm -hmm. Watch the video again, okay? Patient. Next, a hard-working person. I'm a hard-working person, okay? Who likes I'm to a work. I'm a hard-working person. I'm a hard working yes, person. Ok, uh, vamos a, te voy a pronunciar esto, le voy a estar haciendo esto mejor para ahorrar, ahorrar tiempo. Le voy a pronunciar apropiadamente lo que intentaban sí. decir y ustedes vuelven a ver el video exactamente en este momento para poder agarrar la pronunciación, ok? Good, so again, you have patient, a hard working person who likes to work, who likes to work. I'm a little funny. I'm a little funny. I'm a little funny. Okay. And en lugar de decir only that, vamos a empezar a decir that's it. And that's it. Like that. Okay, buddy. Um, <clears throat> to be patient. And I made a mistake there. Okay. To be patient. To be patient is difficult for me. There's a difference between patience and patient, okay? So, to be patient is difficult for me. I am a funny person too. I'm a funny person too. I have a difficult temper, not a heavy temper, okay? Sometimes, it, teacher, <laughs> sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Now, with sometimes, the pronunciation, exactly. You say sometimes, sometimes, okay? And that's it. So watch the video again. I'll send you the link to this video, uh, the playlist on YouTube, so you can watch this part and listen to yourself. Pueden volver a verse y escuchar ustedes mismos lo como hablaban y la corrección que les he hecho yo para que la repitan varias veces. And you got it, okay? Continue. Okay. Let's keep going. I'll be back. Yes. Ah, okay. Yep. The juice. Sorry? You said comerciales del valle. Confecciones. Ah, okay. Confecciones. <laughs> okay. Yeah, confecciones <laughs> del valle. Okay. I saw about the juice. Ah, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no problem. I'm hungry. <laughs> no, just <kidding. laughs> okay. okay. It's the We finished, teacher. Hey. <laughs> Hello, teacher. I'm just listening to you. Okay. What <laughs> things do you like? Yes, we finished. You finished. Yeah. Oh my God, look at you. Okay, let's With go you? back then. Let's okay. go back. You already practiced. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 
Ok. We're coming back little by little. Ok, we're, every, everyone is here. So let's start with Stanley, who is always very formal. Stanley. Hi. Can you tell okay. us about one of your classmates that you were with in these little groups? Sorry, repeat, please. Can you give us an example of uh, someone's character? I think you were with Max and uh, Madeline, right? Yes. Uh, she's an uh, easygoing person. Okay, she's an easy per she's an easygoing person who who Madeline, uh, a easygoing person is uh, is someone who doesn't worry worry much uh, because she's like peace and love attitude. Okay, she likes to be in a positive attitude all the time. She likes to be in a positive she attitude. Likes Yes. Okay, excellent, very good. Max, what do you think about Stanley? Uh, he mentioned that he is a social, sociable person. He likes to talk to people and he's supportive. He's someone who is supportive. He's someone who likes to talk to people. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you can describe him as an easygoing person. Okay, excellent, very good. Let me see someone else, Daniela. Hi. <laughs> Hi, who who are you with? Um, I am with Violeta. I was with Violeta, okay. How I was you... with Violeta and Buddy, and I think was Elvis. Okay, so what do you think about uh, Elvis? Um, can I speak about Violeta? <laughs> sure. <laughs> can okay. I talk about? Can I talk about? Can Violeta? I talk about? Um, she is a social person. She said so. that she is a person who is sociable and easygoing. Excellent. Okay. Very good, Violeta. What do you think about Daniela or Elvis or Vadi? Daniela says she was uh, she she's a little bit shy. She's a uh, she's Someone. social. She's easygoing, but a little bit shy. Okay. Excellent. Just one more. Who wants to freely participate? wants to talk let's talk about Barry Faro uh huh she's a social social person and she she has a temper high temperament and, and we said wait 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 we said she yeah. is she has a heavy temp she's a i i wrote it somewhere <laughs> yeah. Yes. Some type teacher depends. Sometimes. On the <laughs> okay, sometimes uh, she has a difficult temper. Sometimes she has a difficult temper. Excellent. Angry. Yeah, okay. Angry. Sorry. Angry. Sometimes angry. she's angry. She's angry sometimes. Angry. Angry. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. So. Who is angry? Angry, Vadi is Please. angry. Eh, Vadi, Alfaro. Depends the you situations. Angry? No, I'm not angry. No. I never get angry. I never get angry. Are you easy going? I'm easy going. I'm always smiling. And sometimes I get tired and that's it, but I never get upset at all. Hakuna Matata, then. Hakuna Matata. There you go. That's the way you have to live. All men are like you, teacher. Really? All men? All yeah, men? Sure. All, all men. Men. Remember, man, men. All okay. men. All men. <laughs> I'm sorry. All men. Men. Are like that. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you have found good men in your life, dear. 
you have found good men in your life. Te has encontrado con buenos hombres en tu vida, ok. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. Ok, guys. Uh, just to close the class, as usual, we're going to finish with this topic about closes with it and when. Let's pay attention so we can practice this tomorrow as soon as, soon as we start the class, okay? Don't miss tomorrow's class. Hello, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday, right? So a uh, quick example, I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There I just express the likes and dislikes and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as, I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as, I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as, I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it, and then we say clauses with when, well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well, um, in order to formulate this sentence, to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like. So, I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation. Um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say this could be now the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you. This could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here. So I could easily say I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb. I could change something else there. I could say, I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say, I don't mind it. All right. Okay. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation and you might say I don't I don't like it I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment and that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences um, again you could be neutral about the whole situation you could uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it so you could like it or you could love it 
um, and um, at the same time something could make you upset. Okay, so as you heard, I don't like it when you are absent from the class. Okay, I don't like it when you don't finish the homework in the platform. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. I hear you, uh, I don't like it, uh, mm -hmm. but I I know I don't like it. I get uh, pronunciation. 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 You say I don't, I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, and I don't like it. It's bad. No, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's, it's just the same. I don't, like I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, Correct. thank you very much. Um, la manera en la que les estoy enseñando, Madeline, es como sonar más natural, más americano. Okay. ¿sí? Yes. Para que un gringo thank no you. le haga mala cara cuando usted le hable un gringo y le Okay. Esta persona aprendió okay. el inglés, no en los Estados Unidos. That's good. I don't Teacher, we can use the platform. Totally. We can use the platform. Ah, okay. Yes. Because you are you are right the other day that it was not working. <laughs> good, Violeta. Yes, it is working again, guys. So you can start okay. working on the platform right now. Thank I you. I have to go. I don't like when I have to okay. go. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Take care. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Good, Good night, night, teacher. Bye.